says Homestuck Gay Stuck Edition. My name is Jackie or Jax, and today we're talking about Kanaya. We just did a Rose episode last week, or sorry, a couple of days ago, and so it makes sense that Kanaya is kind of what I follow up with. And Kanaya, there's a little bit more I think to talk about than I had with Rose, but it, it's pretty much going to go about the same way. So with Kanaya, she has two main gay relationships that are important. I mean, really just the two. She has Friska and she has Rose. Friska was very <laughs> painful to a lot of people, I'm sure, because it's that unrequited love that, yeah, we're friends, but this isn't the sort of relationship I want from her. Like, I, I, I want a romantic relationship, which, I mean, with trolls, it is still romantic, but she wants the uh, flushed romantic relationship with. And she never gets that. And she, you know, meddles in Friska's affairs and she tries to help out and she ends up getting caught up in uh, more allegiance and auspiceship? Auspicism? Auspicism, I think. Anyway, words don't mean anything. <laughs> but, and she ends up helping Vriska try to, I guess, seduce Tavros. So she's like really brokenhearted about that and it's really tough for her uh that whole arc of liking Vriska and not being able to do anything about it not being able to tell Vriska about it but everyone knows except for Vriska basically uh when Vriska does sense something is wrong with Kanaya she assumes it's because Kanaya likes Tavris which is super not the case so it's just one of those unfortunate things that Vriska doesn't start to appreciate Kanaya in the way that Kanaya wanted her to until Kanaya is over her basically and is then crushing on Rose which I believe she had a bit of a crush on why she, while she was still crushing on Friska but um it was more of a this is a person I'll never meet and not a actual romance option so, and then with Rose, it's it's pretty straightforward. She definitely has a crush on Rose from the beginning. She has such admiration for her. She's so let down whenever she thinks Rose isn't what she built her up to be and feels kind of embarrassed for kind of the image that she had in her mind of Rose. Even whenever she does figure out the real Rose, it's like, well, I had you up on this really high pedestal because of the thing you wrote that I read. And yeah, and they just end up falling into a uh, pretty good relationship, even though neither of them realize that's what it is for a bit. Whenever Mina asks her about it, she says Rose is maybe her girlfriend, which now that I think about it, I find funny because yeah, Mina definitely asks if Rose is her girlfriend or girlfriend as Mina says, but then when Roxy asks, she does that whole like, oh, is that what a human calls a, a mate sprit ship? And I'm like, was that just inconsistent writing on Hussey's part? Or did, was Kanaya being a little jackass there? So that's funny now that I remembered that. But yeah, but they are girlfriends, and it is great, and they get gay married, and then they raise a whole bunch of troll babies together, and it's fantastic, and I really love that arc, and I'm really glad that she was able to learn from Briska and learn what to kind of avoid to pursue the relationship she wants, and not in a, I'm not going to support you way, but just, yeah, like, I'm not going to try to meddle and fix all your problems for you or anything like that. And I just love how she has a type of like, hmm, this person's probably kind of dangerous to the whole session, but they're also extremely powerful. Yeah, crush on her. So that's very funny to me. And and yeah, I just really love Kanaya a whole lot. She's definitely my favorite troll. But uh, yeah, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about for this one. Um... I mean, like I said, these are going to be some pretty short episodes, which is why I'm doing two a week now, Wednesday and Saturday, until I start my next project. 
which I have kind of started, but I'm waiting to see how it pans out a little bit before I really talk about it some more. I mean, maybe by the time this podcast is uploaded, you'll know about it. If um, you follow me on Twitter or you're in my Discord, uh, both of which you can find at jackstashomestuck.com. And you can uh, join my Discord from there because I'll be talking a lot more about the progress of everything. Um, so, yeah, definitely check that out. Um, I have a YouTube channel as well, Jax Does Homestuck. I have a little promo video there. But, I mean, if you're listening to this, you already know what I'm about. So, but yeah, I am slowly putting up video editions of my episodes, which I should mention isn't just straight up I'm putting it on a video and, like, uploading it. I'm just changing it to video format. I also find the parts I'm talking about and I add them in there. I don't think I'm going to be doing that whenever I eventually upload the characters uh, just because I jump around so much. But whenever I'm actually like basically reading from a, a list of different scenes I found, then yeah, I when I make the video, I, I have the list of scenes in there when I'm talking about them. So, so that's something, if that's what you're interested in. Um, I also need to get on transcripting. Um, it takes a lot of time, so, so sorry I haven't been on top of that. If you definitely want me to, to do more of that, let me know. If there's anything else you want me to do, let me know. If, um, you maybe want these little end sections to not be as long as my character discussions, let me know, but I can't promise anything there because I, like Kanaya, am a rambler. So anyway, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me what you think. And as always, thank you for listening. And I'll see you, uh, let's see, this one's going to be up on Saturday. So I'll see you Wednesday. <laughs>